This is Fox 5 Morning News. There are too many tomatoes in your fridge. Well, a chef from Carmelo's restaurant will join us live to share a tasty way to use the popular juicy fruit. Mm. How we can serve that up. Now, I don't know what up. he's doing over there, but I'm already smelling something that smells, smells good. Really good. Yeah. I believe I have worn my tomato red shirt in yeah. honor of him. Very here appropriate. Today. Very yes. appropriate. All right. I'll be over to taste later. Uh, let's find out what's Okay, it's 926 now. It's a Tuesday morning, and still ahead, fresh tomatoes. They're delicious raw. I like them with a little bit of salt. Just a little. Mm -hmm. Just like an apple, right? But um, cooked in sauce or pan fried, they are delicious. Yep, they're also a key ingredient to Carmelo's. Cataplana. I don't. I don't know what that is. <laughs> um, a chef from the local restaurant will join us live to share his recipe for the popular dish. All right. Thank you, Holly. We are now in the thick of tomato season. You may be uh, overflowing with tomatoes in your garden. If you're thinking about some different ways to eat up those juicy and sweet tomatoes, our guest today has some ideas for you. Here with some inspirational dishes is Miguel Perez, general manager at Carmelo's Restaurant, which is in Old Town, Manassas. Man, nice to meet you. Thank you. Thanks for coming in. And first of all, it smells fantastic. Thank you. I love the variety of tomatoes that you've got here. Uh, let's talk first about the restaurant. Well, well, the restaurant is Carmelo's. We're located in Old Town, Manassas. We're a family-owned business since 1987. Uh, my family's had it, and I kind of grew up in it. Mm -hmm. And that's how I, I learned to do a little cooking, a little bit of everything. And the restaurant has its own garden. Yes, yes. We grow our own herbs, tomatoes, and... Uh, so it allows us to do as fresh as possible. That's fantastic. All right. Tell us what, uh, earlier I mentioned, I, I didn't know if I was pronouncing it right, to, right. Uh, cut, cut a, Cataplana. Cataplana. Yeah, and that Plana. is the actual, the name of the cooking vessel, but that's also the oh. name of the dish. Oh, okay. All right. So you're going to show us, and uh, is it in here finished? No, yeah, we have it. We have it cooking in here right okay. now, but we can show you how we get started. Okay. We uh, always start with a little Portuguese extra virgin olive oil. We get that going. So, the key to everything is garlic, some, uh... You onions. are able to use the fresh veggies from your own garden. Yep. And, and I guess the recommendation for people is fresh, 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 as fresh as you can get it. It's great to be going, to go out there and pick your own fresh basil, yeah. get your own rosemary. You know, in the morning, you can walk in, grab your own fresh tomatoes. With a tomato, if, if, if sometimes you go to the grocery store, I know it's not the best place. You go there, you get the tomato, it's kind of hard. Will that, will that ripen up nicely on your counter? Or? Yes, within yeah. a day or two, they're gonna ripen up real okay. quick. Uh, here, we, we've got the, the fresh heirlooms going. And this is the base of our sauce. So this is where it all starts. And you see all the nice color. We've got a couple different heirloom types in there. Some orange, yellow, and purple. Now, is it doing that just because you were just... Uh... That's just because of the high heat. And okay. uh, it's on a electric really? top. So. That's kind of cool. We get that going. Uh, get a little sausage in here. This is Portuguese sausage. We have a linguiça sausage Ooh. and a Portuguese chorizo. Aim that at the camera yep, so they can right see that. There. Look at that. So you got two different types of sausage. That really gives the dish a lot of flavor. Mm -hmm. Get a little chicken in here as well. Are you all open for lunch and dinner? We're open only for dinner. Uh, do, do we do have a casual side called Monza, where we do pizza, pasta, salads, more of your everyday cuisine. Okay. So we got this going now. This is really the base. Is this almost like a wok? Uh, this is Portuguese style paella. Uh, oh, I the, love paella. Yeah, so this is yes. paella, but basically the only difference is we cook it in this. Gotcha. Okay. All right. So. Once you get the tomatoes and the onions and everything cooking, uh, we go ahead and add some shrimp in there as well. You just toss Ooh. that in there. Oops. Give me a warning. That's some <laughs> big shrimp. Yeah, we get big shrimp. And uh, you throw in some nice little neck clams. In the, uh, in the shells? All in there. Yep, you throw it right in there. And then if you want to grab some wine right there, there's some right, Portuguese sure. alvarino. Oh, you mean for you. And That's we right. just pour it right on in. And this is going to be the base of the dish. So we're going to let this cook now. You cover it up, put it in here, mm -hmm. about five to six minutes until the clams kind of open up. Okay. And now we're going to jump ahead to one that we started earlier. Sure. Through the magic yep, of television. So. Oh, There's our good. dish. So this is how, after you have it cooked for about five to six minutes, it's going to look like this. You know it's ready because the clams are open. And now we're going to finish off the dish. We're going to add our... I was going to say, you got to... Yeah, some tomato, uh, Rice here. Yeah. Just gonna add that right oh, in. Oh yeah, there. this is old man. I'm, I'm loving smell this. That smell. 
Get that in there. I'm loving this. And, you know, since it is tomato season and it's a tomato dish, we're going to add more tomatoes. More tomatoes. More Why tomatoes, not? yeah. And, and then how long do you let that go? This is just a couple minutes, and it's pretty much, you just let it marinate in there. All right, you do okay. what you got to do. Well, I got to throw to a break. Uh, Miguel is from Carmelo's in Old Town, Manassas. Uh, the dish is called Cataplana. 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 Yep, Cataplana. And uh, we'll sample this in just a couple moments. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Okay, our guest is Miguel Perez from Carmelo's in Old Town Manassas. You wanted to mention the wines. Yes, we have one of the largest selections of oh. wine in the country. <laughs> so, it's, it's hot. hot. Very hot. <laughs> Very tasty. Yeah. Seemed like it tasted good. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>